This video will demonstrate what we mean by the grain of the fabric. So if you've dealt with fabric before, you will notice that you can see the, the threads running up and down through that fabric. Each fabric is woven a little bit differently and I won't get into complicated weaving techniques, but basically when thread for fabric is put on a loom, there are warp and weft fabrics. There's, there are threads running up and down the loom as you weave and across. And as those threads run across and loop back and forward on themselves, you can see that it makes this pre-finished edge on the side of the fabric. And that edge is called the selvage edge, and that edge will not fray or unravel. It's quite sturdy. It runs with the grain of the fabric. So the grain are those vertical threads running up and down the fabric longwise. We are talking about yardage of fabric. When you purchase fabric in a store, then you are unwrapping the bolt and counting the yardage along the selvage edge as that yardage is being cut. The width of the fabric or the cross grain, the threads running perpendicular, or yes, perpendicular to our grain. So if our grain is here, our cross grain is here, is always predetermined by the width of the loom. So if it is set to a particular width, it will maintain that same width the entire length of your fabric. So common fabric widths can be 36 inches, 44 inches, 52 inches, 60 inches, etc. So there, there are certain widths to fabric. So you need to be conscious of what that width of the fabric is as you're purchasing it, because obviously in a wider width fabric, you need less yardage to be able to get the same sort of pieces out. So you need to be calculating and thinking about that as you are prepping for projects or purchasing things. You might notice on the back side of commercial pattern, they would give you more than one yardage length based on the width of the fabric chosen. So once we find our selvage edge on our fabric, when we line up pieces to cut, oftentimes the grain line is going to be marked on your pattern piece. And so that will be marked with a long line and two little arrows on either end. And you want to make sure that this is oriented up and down with the grain of the fabric and not in any other direction. Grain is important as you cut pieces. You want to make sure that the grain is typically running vertically with the body. So often the grain is running down the length of our skirt, down the middle of our torso, in shirts and bodices, down the center of our sleeve, etc. So do pay attention to grain as you are cutting. And you can always find your grain by finding your selvage edge. And then the cross grain would be perpendicular to it. Another thing to keep in mind is bias. So this is a very basic muslin made of cotton, very simple weave, nothing fancy. It is 100% cotton. There is no stretch fiber woven into this fabric. So naturally it doesn't really stretch. It's very stable on both the grain and the cross grain. However, if we are to turn it to an angle and gently pull, you'll see a stretch. And what's happening is as the fibers are turned on the diagonal, they gently flex. So we can manipulate the bias or the ang angle on the fabric to our advantage and use that stretch in certain places on the body. So much of fashion and costume design has to do with how we use that bias on different places in the body, how it drapes on the body, it hangs on the body. So if you've ever cut something in a curve, a circle skirt, etc., you might notice that curves have a gentle stretch to them as you're sewing 
you also need to be careful as you cut and sew on those curves that you're not stretching out the bias unexpectedly. The 45 degree angle to our grain line or selvage edge is a true bias. Bias doesn't have to be 100% 45 degrees, but traditionally, if you are cutting something deliberately on the bias, it will be at a 45 degree angle. And you can mark bias with a gridded ruler like this by finding where your inches line up. As you can see, I've got an in inch mark there, there, and there. And so I can run this right along my selvage or grain line. And then I can mark a perfect 45 degree angle from that. I can create my own bias tape for different purposes. There's a lot of things that you can do with bias if you are intentionally trying to get that flex or stretch.